The Hubson H107 drone, like the Hubson H107D I am flying here, is one of the best learner drones currently available. I started off with the H107C, which doesn't have FPV, and when I decided I wanted to learn to fly a drone using FPV, the H107D was the obvious choice. You can fly the H107 drones indoors, but you need quite a bit of room to let the drone stretch its legs and have fun with it. If all you want to do is practice your slow speed flying for aerial photography perhaps, or keep your thumbs in on a wet day, you can use the H107 in small rooms. Take the H107 outside and this is where the fun really begins and turns up a notch. With more space you can fly the H107 faster, higher and further away. Whilst the H107 is more suited to the outdoors, it is worth pointing out that you need good weather conditions to fly it. Any more than the smallest breath of wind and this drone is a nightmare to control. Because of the small size it gets blown around quite a bit and given the motors aren't that powerful it becomes a challenge to fly. The Hubson H107 drones are stable, responsive and easy to fly and this is because of the 6 axis flight system and adjustable gyro sensitivity. This little drone is full of technology, usually found in more expensive drones that makes flying it easier and hence more fun and enjoyable. There is obviously a learning curve in mastering the basic operation of this drone but it's not that steep and total beginners will be up and running with it in no time at all. If a drone is easy to fly, beginners won't get frustrated with not being able to fly the drone and give up. I guarantee that all newbies will get to grips with the H107 in no time and have fun doing so. Now let's take a look at the camera on the Hubson H107 drone. All things considered, the video camera on the H107 isn't too bad and for the cost of it you won't get any better. For good quality video you need the ideal conditions, this being a perfectly still day and a good amount of light but not too much. If there is the slightest bit of wind, any video footage will be shaky and jello like, i.e. unusable. You could try and correct it using some shake reduction software, but it is highly unlikely you will get the footage to a usable state. If there is too much light or high contrast, the footage will be washed out and the highlights blown, resulting in footage that can't be used either. The Hubson H107 drones are, without a doubt, the best drones for beginners and I can't get my head around how Hubson make drones this good and can sell them for such little money and still actually make a profit. Ok, the camera may not be professional quality but you can't expect it to be. All things considered, the camera is great and more than good enough to capture video footage that is more than good enough to share with friends and family on social media.